Welcome to the Finding Wisdom Show. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, we're back, and as you can see, my name is Linda Singh, and I'm here with a very special guest today, Sexy Marissa. If you haven't ever met Sexy Marissa, hi, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me on your show, Linda. It's always a pleasure seeing you and seeing you again. Great. Um, what, well, I know you've been up to a lot of things, actually. You brought a video with you. Uh, yeah, I did bought a video. I have actually bought two videos with me for you guys today. So hopefully the viewers can see, you know, a little bit of who I am. Great. So let's take a look at rumors. you viewers out there enjoyed it as much as we did. <laughs> we had a great time, right? <laughs> Everyone yes. in the studio. We were really like dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you come up with this uh, wonderful song? Well, I produce in Trinidad. Um, my producer has a writer but also where um, the writer and us ourselves, the, the artists, come combine and you know we will, we will, I will give them an idea of a song of what I want and they'll just put it together. Wow. So, so how did you think of rumors? I don't know, it's just like, <laughs> it happened last year, so it was a lot of controversy with, with, with husbands and wife and cheating, so rumors right. is, um, it's like, it's a rumors outside, and at the end of the day, it's about me and you, but, you know, it's like cheating, some cheating, everyone talks so that the, we're cheating on each other, but we're not, so, the, uh, last year had a lot of those, so, wow. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I, um, I thought, Cool. I thought having a controversy song like that would be very funny for the West Indian community. Wow, I, I think it was. And it had a nice <laughs> beat to it. I mean, you just got to go partying and listen to this song. <laughs> so great. Anyway, um, how, um, I know you have another song. 
Oh, yeah, and, so um, um, it's called a pleaser. Um, it went up for the Guyana Chutney Soka Monarch 2015 this year. I actually came back only over the weekend um, from the Monarch. I can, spent can you four days. Us, uh, uh, you're going to tell us a little bit more about that, but can you tell me a little bit? <laughs> can you tell me a little? Can you do a little acapella before little we get acapella. into the video? Um, yeah. Okay, sure. It goes like this. Um, Look, I leave home and come here alone. I want a bachelor, but only seeing fool us looking for some pleasure. Just want a pleaser to party together, together, together. Only seeing teasers, one set of jokers, and plenty, plenty losers, losers. I want a pleaser, just want a pleaser. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. Well, you said what all the girls want, a pleaser. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and all the men, right? Everybody wants a pleaser. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look at the video. Hello, but I just can't find one. Let's go. Look, I leave home. I come here alone. I want a bachelor. But only see a fool. I'm looking for some pleasure. Just want a pleaser to party together, together, together. Only see a teaser. One set that joker. Some plenty, plenty losers. Losers, losers. I want a pleaser. Wow, that was great, Marissa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> really, really <laughs> lovely video. Now, I'm dying to know what made you decide to write a song about um, Lisa. <laughs> again, it comes back to what's, what's going on in society these days. Um, every um, guy you meet, they're broke, so. <laughs> <laughs> every guy you meet, well, I Well, no, not that. every guy, I'll <laughs> take that back. Um, 50 <laughs> 75%. 75%? Wow. Do you hear that, guys? I, I hope you're looking for a job. <laughs> <laughs> they better find one. <laughs> so, um, so what was it like working on this song? Um, um, it was very, um, this song was working since last year also, last summer. Mm -hmm. um, and the video was done in a week, actually. Um, Andrew Mustafa is my, the guy who did my music video. He did it, it was on point. We had it done. Because before I leave for Guyana, we had it to get that video. It'll also play on the television in Guyana, promoting your music and your song and all of that. So yeah. That's right. So you had to have a video to be on um, C CSM? Yes. OK. And actually, no, you don't have to have a video to be on CSM. But remember, I don't live in Guyana. So leaving mm -hmm. my video there would have been really good for the television network. 
in Guyana, so you, they can you can so people yeah. can learn about homosexual right. yes. Yeah. Wow. So what was it like in Guyana, uh. <laughs> going back and performing and being in the you know? I wanted training. to kill my manager for sending me, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. So what's, um, uh, going to Guyana was pretty much of a, a nice experience. I was pretty scared going, um, but after I, I got into it, it, you know, I settled myself, my mind and everything. Um, but the experience is quite an experience. Um, you had to go over on the other side, um, as a Um It's like you have to take a break, um, you go to drive to the port take a huge boat, okay. put your car in it, and then it... With your car? In well, the you, your car <laughs> could be on it. Oh, how cool and is that? And it's like three hours over the river, that's okay. the Cuba River. It's my first time ever doing any of those. Um, so what was it like being on the river with the boat? Uh, it's know? pretty scary. <laughs> I was thinking I would have seen it like an anaconda or something, but really? <laughs> it didn't happen. Well, the waters <laughs> were pretty rough. Huh? It was a little bit smooth, rough, you know, that type of thing. But it was, it was a good experience. Scary, but good. It was very adventurous. and. Everyone was so nice. All the people were so nice, um, wow. very warm welcome, very kind-hearted wow. that I met so far. So how many people are usually at these shows in Guyana? Um, uh, for this time, we had over, I think, 4,500. Wow, it's a lot of people. Yeah, they, it was a packed It was a packed stadium. Um, they had a pretty good crowd. Uh, all the artists did pretty well, even being locals. Um, we are international artists. <laughs> a lot of these <laughs> competition consider us international artists. Um, not even if you're born in Guyana. Right. For some reason, I, I don't get it. It's like you're born there, you're still human, you know? You have the talent, but they think because you're so international that maybe you shouldn't be in the country. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> isn't that something? You're, you're born in Guyana and then they treat you like an outsider. Yes, they, they do. A hundred percent they do. Wow. Totally. But, they, but they, it seems like they treat you as an outsider, but they're treating you very hostile. Hostile is very, very nice yeah, they want you to come back, but being an artist is kind of rough. What is it like with uh, some of the challenges of in a competition like this? To my eyes, it was not most of a comp like a challenge mm -hmm. for us. Um, I've been in this music industry for so long have done so many shows, have okay. shared a stage with um, Rupi and Mr. Vegas and all these artists in life and... Um, Terry Gadraj. Right, Terry Gadraj. And to consider myself calling that a competition, it's not really a competition I mean, to me. I should have went there more like a guest artist for that show, not okay. in the competition. Well, well, well uh, you know, just throwing this out there, um, what do you think would be something that could be improved? Improved? Maybe yeah. the government should be straight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the government, let's not go there, right? Um, so actually, I want the, uh, the audience to learn a little bit more about you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your childhood, what it was like, and what, when did you realize, at what age, that you were interested in doing music? I moved to Trinidad when I was four years old. Um, I always wanted to become a dancer. Oh, <laughs> I wow. was 12. So you know how to dance? Yes. Wow, cool. And uh, my mom would say, nope, you dance right here. You're not dancing anywhere else. <laughs> but um, the bands from Trinidad, like Raymond, Ramnarine, and um, Karma, Ravi B, all these musicians that's in Trinidad and the radio, I was always into that. And um, I got involved. I, I met Terry when I was 16 years old. And Terry's the one who discovered me, Terry Gadraj. And um, after that, that was it. Up was and it? away. <laughs> okay. So you, you, did you used to sing in the shower? And, uh, uh, I no, mean, I just sang. I just, just did it natural. Naturally, you just okay. sung no, one no, day. No, and no, no, like, no, wow, no, I I, no. I'll take that back. <laughs> me and my brother used to take my mom's pot and spoon and beat. He used to like play the drum and I used to be oh, singing. Like so what those drunk men do with the yeah, glass? And yeah. Okay. Well, it's a Guyanese thing or West Indian thing <laughs> with the men and the spoons and they're knocking on things. Um, but like music developed since mm -hmm. then. We knew we had it in us. Well, that's great. So is music in your family? Is there anyone else that sings? No, no not at no. the moment. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, um, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Are you, the, the guys want to know, are you dating anyone? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm pretty much single. Okay, well, uh, she's single. <laughs> Where do you, what are some of the challenges being a female working with the men in this industry? Um, the challenge, in, as every other artist, even in the American industry, your name gets scandaled a lot, which is not true. If you're barely, you're here saying hi to somebody, they automatically say something about you, but um, 
challenge of a female artist is very hard, but you just have to put your head up and just besides, ignore it and just go besides forward. Besides rumors, it comes down to talent and music and vocals and, and technical aspects. Being a woman, do you, do you feel that you're, um, the challenges that you meet with these men that ha have been around for a long time and that are very skilled at what they do, do you feel that you're able to talk their language? Of course, yes, of course you have to talk their language once once you mm -hmm. know you have that that inside of you of being so strong of yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I highly agree that I, I do. Okay, <laughs> but that's, that's great. So, so a lot of the men, do they do they feel threatened that a I female bet, artist yes. can talk that language? Yeah. Because um, sometimes, I guess, when you're dealing with different culture and music, and men uh, like to, um, even today, women get paid less than men. We're always, you know, competing, but we're as good as right. men. But we have to work a little harder. Right. So do you Correct, get yes. that? Women, um, women, actually men have to work harder because they have a lot of other competition. There's less female singing these days. So once a female can perform, I think, sh and she got it, uh, uh, she can hold a crowd down and command a crowd. Pretty much that's, that's it. What do you think is the secret to holding a crowd down? Hold, you have to be a people's person. If okay. you're not a people's person, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so you like people. <laughs> yeah, I'm, li I'm like a people's person. Like I get along with everyone. Oh Unless yeah, they get on my bad side. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what does it take to get on your bad side? Uh, being, <laughs> being, <laughs> um, being. If you lie to me and right. like, you right. you really lie to me a lot, right. and then and there's you a lot show you show it like you're this mm -hmm. type of person, then you know, like you're really grimy behind my back. And there's a lot of people that just talk to me just to like go out all over with me and stuff. But and eventually it comes to the surface where you learn who they are. So. Yeah, that happens a lot. I imagine being such a wonderful. Yeah, artist. it happens. Um, but, you, but that's mm -hmm. fine. You point it out, and you, they don't even know they're out of your life. You just get rid of it. <laughs> do you? Where do you see yourself uh, with the music <coughs> industry? Where do you see yourself going? Well, to go back on something, um, I had my song in Trinidad number one. Not Patricia Coy. I did a remix with Terry Gadraj. It was number one on the chart for three months. Oh wow, that's good. Um, in Trinidad and Tobago, um, on two of the radio stations, it was number one. Um, another song I did was number one also. Um, I've had a, quite a few of the West Indian music, you know, getting there. I did my first EDM, um, Modern Friends. Well, um, it's a remix, um, house music type. And I, I, I feel better actually going into that market. So we're actually recording a new song in the American industry right now as we speak. Um, my manager and I wants to go forward doing that. Wow, can we get any details? <coughs> First on the Finding Wisdom show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Give us the exclusive here. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> What's happening with you? We are going into more to the American market um, to actually promote myself, um, have a publish, a publish, to you know publish my my information, give it out, and send in some stuff to the record label company, and you know we're heading more into that direction. Okay. When you say you're heading into that direction, uh, is there something that you're working on? There's a, a project, project at yes, the moment. Yes, um, yes. We're, there's a project of a song. New music, uh, a different type of style? Actually, it's just house music, EDM. EDM, uh, America love EDM. Are you <laughs> mixing it with uh, the Chinese no. beats? Or just, just straight? <laughs> straight house music. Okay. Oh, wow. Can't wait to hear what it sounds <laughs> like. Do and I get any be a, That'll be a very different type <laughs> of video. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Are you excited? I am very excited. Um, I like to do different things going into the different markets. So yeah. Okay. What else have you been working on? What else are you working on for the future? Um, working on for the future is um, we have a few shows coming up. We're actually going to LA in April and uh, Canada. Then I'm nice. doing Carabana for Great. Canada. So yes, yeah, so a lot of shows is in the work right now. And, and maybe if we get through totally with the American industry, we're going to be doing the tour. That would be fascinating. Yeah. That would be really great. Wow, you're, you're an entrepreneur, definitely, in the works here. You also do clothing. You're into fashion. Yes, I also have my yeah. own um, fashion boutique store. It's not huge. It's small, but... It's okay. Um, How's that going? It's okay. I labeled my name as um, Sexy Marissa's mm -hmm. Fashion, so, yeah. How's it going? Good, it's good? It's going pretty okay. Pretty okay, not bad. Um, it's located at 11819 on Liberty Avenue. Okay. Yeah. And then the, you do for all styles, all sizes? All styles, all size, anywhere you want to go, basically, yeah. 
Wow, that's really, what got you interested in doing that? When I was young, my mom had two stores, two business, so I grew up pretty much in the clothing and fashion line also. Oh, wow. Same sex, Marissa. <laughs> um, what else are you working on? Any, any acting, any TV shows? <laughs> acting, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you said that. Um, I got an offer to be in um, one of the ministry in Guyana. They are doing a, a, a movie. And um, they they offered me a part of their main role character, so I'm not so sure if I'll take it yet. He's coming in two weeks. When he comes, I have to discuss it, put everything on the table, and see if I want to do it. <laughs> well, what do you think? Do you think you want to challenge yourself to um, see what acting is like? It might be okay. I mean, once they pay well, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't mind the experience. Um, Experiences. <laughs> Going into the Amazon, um, I'm not too <laughs> happy about it, but yeah. Yeah, well, being in the Amazon, it would be a challenge. And if I take the role, I have to be in the Amazon for two weeks. Kind of reminds me of the show Survivor. <laughs> well, we oh, survived you survived there, the oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, we'll see if you survive if and come back. <laughs> you mean if I take it? <laughs> no, no. Right, if Zexy Marissa goes to the Amazon and she comes back, we know she's a survivor. Maybe then we can have her go on the Survivor show. I get a, a <laughs> wait, in the movie I'm supposed to be a cop, so I get a gun I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a cop? Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. That's hey, definitely a different I can't give out the movie too much. Okay. She can't give us too much, but we're trying. So you want to tell the, the fans and the audience out there um, what you're going to be doing for Finding Wisdom? Yes, I will be co-hosting um, Finding Wisdom. Um, Coming soon, that's a new project. Um, remember, this is Sexy Marissa, and you're watching Fine and Wisdom TV. So, okay. <laughs> wow, that was great. <laughs> Shoot, that was great. That's I didn't even ask you to ready. do that. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was very nice of you. Um, so, are you excited about working on um, this? Yes, show? I'm very excited of working on this. Um, I mean, I did a something for you before this, so yes. um, it's pretty interesting, pretty fun. The crew is nice. I like, you know, fun people to work with, not boring people. You're fun, you're nice. <laughs> I paid her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, did <as> not. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Sex Moose has been a very good friend of mine, and I've been following her and watching her development, and, and I see she, she will be going places with her music and the other ventures. I'm sure she's going to have a lot of different ventures and um, doors open, opportunities-wise. Um, well, what can I say, Sexy Marissa? What is it that you could tell someone out here today, a young person that's starting out and, and has talent and wants to get into the industry? What would be some of the um, pearls of wisdom that you can share with them? Okay, um, what I can say to a young person <coughs> that okay if when you started when you start doing something and you feel a passion for it don't let it go because if you let it go then you let yourself go and then you're going to doubt yourself and then be in the future saying what if what if what if so follow your dreams and just do it do what you love doing if it's a passion and you were born to do it when you go on stage you'll be natural about it wow that's some great advice Life is very short, just like the show is going by so <laughs> quickly that I have so much more I want to talk to you about. Um, you know, life is very short. Every day is, is counted, actually. We don't realize it when we're young. We think we have all the time in the world, but time is very important. And if I w the Finding Wisdom show today, we could let you know anything. Take every moment and don't take it for granted, right? I agree with you. Um, <laughs> life is very, very short. I live, every, I live life every day. My manager yells at me. <laughs> <laughs> live it for the he, moment. He yells right? at me so much, sometimes he probably don't pick up his phone and because he's so mad at me because <laughs> I'm living life. But like again, it's short and you never know what could happen tomorrow. Exactly. So with that said, we're going to end the show today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank it's you, Linda, for having me and Wisdom will be seeing me more on coming soon. <laughs> yes. Air. My name is Linda Singh. We're on every Friday night at 11 p.m. on Channel 56 on Time Warner Cable, Verizon Fives Channel 32, and Channel 82 on RCN. There's more fun, more exciting guests to come, and more, more shows of, of finding wisdom. Finding wisdom through food, finding wisdom through health, 
finding wisdom through any way that you can find some wisdom to live this life today. Uh, wisdom is not only about education or, or money. Wisdom is to have that little extra uh, something that gets you through life. I hope someone out here today is inspired um, and realizes that there's something they want to do, go after it. Because what's life with regrets? Who wants to regret? Uh, thank you so much for watching the Finding Wisdom show. My name is Linda Singh. My name is Linda Singh, and I'll be seeing you next time.